I definitely always was a performer. My family has like a running joke of calling me Havana the Musical because I sort of was dancing and singing and putting on little one woman productions by myself ever since I was born. Hi, I'm Havana Rose Lou and this is On The Rise. I still have a hard time calling myself an actress. I think partially because I'm so new to the craft and I had never sort of aspired to have this be my career. I don't know, I think I have too much imposter syndrome about sort of um, feeling like I can't lay claim to the title of what it is to be an actress and sort of, I don't know all of what that means, what the label means. So I sort of don't call myself that, but I act. <laughs> I have a very supportive family in terms of following creative endeavors. I feel really lucky to be able to say that. And I think especially during this past um, sort of like seven months, I've been in a, of limbo of not really having any of the projects I worked on out in the world. I have a Sunday family dinner with my extended family that lives in New York. They have been very patient with me and kind. Um, with all of my sort of like insecurities and in the waiting period. So I have nothing but sort of thanks for them. I don't think I ever really like aspired to be an actor in any capacity, but I do feel as though sort of everything I have studied up until this point has sort of perfectly um, folded into the dough of being an actor. I, I started doing visual arts primarily and that taught me a lot about the visual medium and I think composition and symbolism and then dance also taught me performing in a different way. Also stage presence and sort of like also honestly emotion. So I think in some way like I, I never knew I wanted to act but all of those different things and having some level of deep interest and training in those things has sort of been a perfect through line into now realizing that acting is what I want to do if I want to do all of those things in one. My relationship to acting is sort of kind of like if you would imagine like a romantic relationship is the best metaphor I could give for it which is that like we went on a few dates over the past like three years and I felt like I don't know maybe I was like playing kind of hard to get and now I'm like at that phase where you like kind of can't ignore the elephant in the room that like maybe you're in love with somebody and that's kind of how I feel with acting at this point. No Exit is a fun, fast, flashy, oh I'm getting like stressed thinking about it, but it's about a young woman named Darby who I play and she um, is en route to a family emergency when she gets caught in a blizzard and has to stop in a sort of rest stop. I think I had the most interesting February because the skies everywhere came out and um, No Exit came out all within the same month and they're two such polar opposite roles. The skies everywhere, I play a young woman named Bailey who, um, it's not a spoiler, um, it's, dies pretty early on in the film. Um, and she is essentially like the embodiment of, I think, light and bravery, whereas I think Darby is colored by maybe more blues, grays, greens, and purples. You know, the contrast between those two films has been like, just created a very polar um, month with such, you know, vast highs and vast lows. I, I definitely don't think of myself as having made it. I literally just don't even know what that even means. I think, like, make what? You know, what is it? Also, I've made things. I've, I've made some movies, I've made some pieces of art, but like, I don't know, ma making it. I hope to make more things. I think for me, I've had so many beautiful highs in my career thus far. I feel really lucky to be able to say that. One particular moment that was really powerful was when I had the premiere for No Exit. And it was the first time I had been able to do anything in person for any of this job. And it felt like sort of this odd shift of having this world I had been living in or this sort of um, experience I'd been having had been sort of this internal um, dialogue with myself and this well-kept secret and then it felt like the first time where I was you know looking in other people's eyes and they were looking at me and we had the same narrative over what my life had been in the past three years and I think that that was a very odd shift of 
feeling reality come and meet this sort of magical, um, ever tumultuous world of filmmaking that I had been a part of. I think, honestly, one of my biggest role models is, like, I have a number of them, but really one of them is my grandma on my Chinese side. I am consistently very touched and um, taken aback by how open and supportive and um, really just like open-minded I think she is and I think she had such an extreme sense of bravery and um, immigrating to this country and um, I think that that level of bravery is something that I try to pull from. She's also kind of an opera singer and I think like her embracing of the arts and of just sort of every aspect of my life, my queerness, my um, choices, my, I mean, she sat through this bloody film and, and you know, didn't cover her eyes the whole time. <laughs> it's just moments like that that I think is, she really stands out to me as somebody to um, aspire to be like in some way. So I'd say that she's a role model for me. My nai nai. I think my first celebrity crushes were like animated because <laughs> I was young. Um, but I think probably, uh, I think Spinelli from Recess, um, I think I thought uh, she was like just really cool at the time. I was like, that's like a cool person. I want to be like that person. And then realized later, like I was probably queer. And then probably Danny Phantom as well. Um, because he's so cool, but they're animated people, so <laughs> I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I'm currently in a phase of watching a lot of documentaries. I love films that do something to sort of warp reality in some way, and so I think for me, sometimes I can get a little um, ungrounded in being in filmmaking sometimes, and so for me, documentaries also like are the real human kernels that we're really building off of, is like true human story, at least that's how I perceive the work and so for me it's been really nice to ground down into some of those but I have been re-watching Schitt's Creek with my little brother it's been so fun I that show I know it's a comedy and I laugh a lot but I also like really weep watching Schitt's Creek <laughs> there's something so touching about the way that they all grow and I don't know I just find myself like laughing and then like pouring tears and so it's been fun to watch with my little brother because he thinks I'm a little bit kooky. I think anytime anybody has any kind of platform, um, I think that there is like a conscious responsibility that one needs to have about how to use it and how to sort of consider what that means. I think for me right now, that specifically has to do with the last three years we've had and um, my community of Asian Americans really suffering. Some of the power of media really is that we have found that representation in media does change people's perceptions of a whole group of people. I think it's sort of like, should be a part of like being a human to have consciousness over other human beings and um, the impact that you have and for me like that responsibility extends outwards so every time I do a role I donate a portion of the proceeds of like from that role to an organization that directly relates to let's say an issue in the film or an issue that my character faces filmmaking is such a communal act and in many ways like that community and collaboration doesn't just exist on set or sort of within the confines of you know, who's involved directly with the script, but also the communities that are actually living out those stories that you're telling. If you had told me three years ago that I would be here, I would have, like, probably, you know, cowered and, like, giggled and, like, run away. I don't think I would have been able to conceptualize this for myself at all. I don't know, I just don't think that um, it makes sense for me personally to ever put um, a secure image of who I think I want to be or or sort of what I want my life to look like and hope that the universe takes me to good places. <laughs>